What's up, Midwest Conference fans? I'm Peyton Tabor here on Midwest Conference Media Day. Today, I'm joined with Lawrence University tight end Logan Olson. Logan, thank you so much for taking the time to meet with me. Hey, yeah, of course. It's a pleasure to be on here. I'm, I'm excited to, to hear what you have for me today and excited to talk some football. Yeah, absolutely. Logan, first thing that I have for you today is uh, just what are your personal expectations for the upcoming season? Yeah, I mean, personal expectations, it's it's going to be my senior season. So, you know, definitely just trying to take it day by day, you know, mm -hmm. excited to grow with the team. We got a lot of young guys coming. So, you know, just molding together, um, creating some nice culture and, and, and uh, hit the ground running uh, and come fall. Yeah, that's so exciting. Tell me a little bit about what to you, what do you believe is a trait that makes for a great Division three football player? Yeah, I think I think one thing that I've learned, especially, you know, going to a smaller campus is just like being being personable with people, really being able to connect on a one on one basis, but also on a team level basis. Right. Like we play a team sport. It's important to, to have characteristics that that can affect your teammates. Right. So um, leadership is, is a quality that I think, you know, a lot of kids got to have. Um, and then just once again, just having people skills, being able to talk to people, being able to get through with people. Right. Is 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 huge. Yeah. Tell me, tell me a little bit, a little bit about your team. What, what's the dynamic like in the locker room? Yeah, we're all some goofy guys. I mean, you know, I'm sure you'll see with, with a lot of your interviews, um, you know, every, every college locker room I'm sure is different, but we got a lot of, we got a lot of funny guys, right? You know, it's always a, always a lot of characters in there. Um, but no, it's, it's been great. It's been a great ride. It's, it's always cool seeing the different classes that come in. You know, everyone's different. Every year is different. Um, just seeing, seeing the characteristics that, that the season's going to take us to is going to be cool. And uh, I'm excited. Yeah. What, what's your favorite part about Viking football? Yeah, it's, I mean, there's, there's a lot to like about it. I think one thing, you know, it's, it's the place we play at the Bantable. It's one of the greatest venues, you know, in, in D3 sports. So, you know, I think one thing is, is getting to practice there every morning, getting to practice with the guys, um, one thing that's exciting is there's a lot happening with the athletics department here at Lawrence University, right? They're, they're, they're building, there's new construction, we're updating, you know, our facilities. So it's, it's great to be a part of it. Sucks that, you know, it's going to be my senior season, but you know, these young guys that are going to be coming up have a, uh, have a good future ahead of them. Yeah. Speaking to your university a little bit more broadly, what's your favorite part about being a student athlete at Lawrence? Yeah. I mean, I, I really want to focus on the student aspect here. Um, uh, like Lawrence, the, the, the academics that we have going on are, are just are just superb, right? Um, it's seven to one student to faculty ratio. So just getting in small classrooms and stuff um, is huge. And also just, you know, connecting with, with, other, with other student athletes. Like we're, uh, of my teammates are starting like a blue crew club to, to support um, more women's sports, which is going to be huge. Uh, just getting out to, to watch our other athletes, fellow student athletes, play and participate um and yeah once again just like the small town environment right Lawrence University you know there's a little less than 1500 students to go here so just being able to 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 get along with one another um is is, is awesome that's great as as a former soccer player myself I love to hear that you guys are supporting women's sports that's great that's, <laughs> of course. that's awesome um Logan who do you believe is one of the best leaders on your team and why yeah, well, I mean, as far as coaching goes, Coach Aker, you know, Tony Aker, he's he's the man. He's uh, he's getting the job done day in and day out. You know, he's he's first one there, practice, last one to leave. Always, always got something to say for us. Always has something, something nice. And on a more personal note, he he's been he's been huge for my growth and development. Not only as a college athlete, but just as a person. So, his leadership, you know, every day has been huge to my development, which I very much appreciate. Um, but yeah, it's as far as as far as players goes, a couple guys to watch out for this year. Jackson Barber, he's a receiver. He's been doing a lot of great work in the off season. Uh, Jake Spencer as well. Two great leaders that uh, that are that should be on that should be on watch for this season. So, yeah. speaking, you speak about Coach Aker a little bit. Um, right now, going into this season, your team is completely made up of Coach Aker guys um, now. So, what does that do for the culture of your team and um, the dynamic of your team? Yeah. Um, yeah. So, you know, we came in together. Uh, he was, you know, I was one of his first recruits. Right. So just getting in, getting into the program. One thing he talked about always was building this culture, this bench free mentality. And now that, you know, all the people from the old coaching staff have kind of cycled out and graduated, it's it's all flinch free mentality guys. 
um, which is going to be which is going to be huge for for this year, right? So you know we always talk about um, these four pillars, right? Uh, the century mentality and and all the guys have, have bought into this this program, and uh, it's only gonna it's only gonna you know allow us to succeed on and off the field this year. So it's going to be great. Yeah. What has been the biggest um, change in your team this off season? Yeah, I think I think one thing that I've noticed um, and the guys notice a lot too is the uh, the connectedness. Like when we're gone, right? Like we've all been you know going back home, going to different different things for the summertime. But we've been you know we've been hammering the Zoom meetings as far as uh, you know learning the playbook offensively, um, just getting together, sending videos, uh, competing in the weight room. You know with with videos, right? It's kind of corny, but you know we all have our group chats, right? You know just staying up to date. So I think work ethic is going to be is going to be you know one thing to to note right um yeah i think that's i think that's the big thing for sure right just you know just you can really sense you can really feel it so it's going to be you know we start camp here in a in a week or so so it's going to be cool to see where that takes us that's so great to hear logan speaking to you a little bit so as a tight end you led the team in catches last season which is a bit uncommon for a tight end so i'm just kind of curious what makes you stand out in that area yeah, I mean, my coaches and teammates put me in in, in great positions. You know, I you know I'd, I'd be nothing without my other ten guys on the on the offensive side of the ball. Um, Coach Akers, he's he's put a lot of trust in my hands. You know, so he's putting me in favorable favorable positions, favorable matchups, and allowed me to make plays. Just you know, just do what I do best. Um, so I think you know one thing is our offense is is great. It tailors to to players who can make you know make make good plays, and you know when you get put in those roles and those positions, you got to execute. So that's kind of what I owe my success to. Yeah. Logan, you got to play against your brother at U Chicago last year. Well, yeah. tell me a little bit about that experience. What was that like? That's cool. I've never, it's cool. I appreciate you talking about that. Yeah. So, I mean, Zach Olson, my brother, uh, we played high school ball together. He ended up going to U Chicago. I came here to Lawrence, obviously. And it was cool. Um, you know, his, it was his senior night, right? We played the whole, my whole, my whole family came out to the city to watch. Um, obviously not, not the result we were looking for, but it was, it was cool to, it was cool to get to, you know, I played with him and I played against him. It was super cool to see. We did the Jersey swap after the game. Um, yeah, it was once in a lifetime thing. Like, like one thing I'm, I'm very grateful for is, you know, being able to go to a, to a smaller school where you can do things like that. Right. And it was uh, a surreal moment, definitely an all time, all time moment. And then he also coached last year too. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So he coached for Chicago. So I played him as a coach as well which was awesome. Wow, that's awesome. That's that's such a cool experience. I'm sure you both will never forget that. Yeah. That's so cool. Um, so I asked you about your personal expectations for the season, but I'm just kind of curious, what are your expectations for your team this season? Right, one thing, I mean, we were in a rough spot last year. We had some we had some tough breaks, but one thing is, you know, we all we all we all got to learn from the mistakes. So just to seeing you know how we take, you know how we attack adversity. I think this year is is going to be one thing to one thing to watch out for. Um, you know, just just applying all the work that we put in. We put some great work in the off season, in the winter time, and in the spring. Um, so we're seeing how we can apply that. You know, translate it to the field. Uh, just continue to make to make to make steps towards progress. You know, we got a young team, got a, long, a lot of young guys on the roster, um, and and you know just just everyone taking in that experience, right, and just being able to to apply it towards towards the future yeah and last question i have for you and it's sort of <coughs> that but at the end of the season what do you believe will define lawrence university's success yeah that's a good question you know i think i think one thing that's uh that's that's important to note might relate back to some of your prior questions as well is just you know staying together right no matter what happens i think it's important that we stay together as a team as a family you know, we got to continue to grow our culture, right? So as long as our culture stays strong, holds holds well, we just got to, you know, continue making making steps towards towards the future, right? You know, just, you know, putting in that work, being consistent, right? You know, our coach always talks about 80-20, like how much how much are you doing a wave, like on your own, right? To to progress the culture and progress, progress yourself as an athlete. So just, I think, you know, all the combinations of that is, is what defines our success. Yeah. Well, that's all I had for you today, Logan. I, I really, really appreciate you taking the time. And I wish I wish you and your team the very, very best of luck this season. Yeah, thanks a lot, Peyton. I appreciate hopping on here. Yeah.